I'm at the South Point Casino about 15 minutes south of the Las Vegas Strip. Somewhere in here, I'm told they have a motorcycle, a Harley Davidson that belongs to the legendary rocker, Jerry Lee Lewis. We're shooting Jerry Lee Lewis' motorcycles at that one. Nobody told us anything about it. Now, I just have to find it. Um, well, anyway. Jerry Lee Lewis was the original and possibly still the baddest bad boy of rock and roll. He had hits like Great Balls of Fire and a whole lot of shaking going on. The way he played piano, it's amazing any of the pianos survive. Yeah. And at 79 years old, he's still kicking. He just can't kickstart a motorcycle anymore, which is why he has to sell his Harley Davidson. Ah, here we go. I've looked at plenty of cars and motorcycles that were up for auction, but I've never actually looked at one on stage during a live auction. Anyway, ordinarily I'm told a one owner vintage Harley like this one would be worth about a hundred grand or so. That's a lot of money for a bike, but nowhere near record money. This bike was given to Jerry Lee by Harley Davidson as a gift in 1959, and he's owned it ever since. He didn't ride this bike a lot, so it's only got a couple of thousand miles on it. For a bike that's older than me, I wish I were in this kind of shape. By the way, it probably helps the price that you're not just buying Jerry Lee Lewis's Harley. You're buying Jerry Lee Lewis's Harley from Jerry Lee Lewis in person. That's one hell of a business transaction.